A young married couple moved into the home of their dreams with their two beautiful young children. But after a series of mysterious illnesses, that dream quickly turned into a nightmare when they found out their house was actually making them sick. Four years ago, my husband and I purchased our first house. It was perfect for us. From the day we moved in, my son had an eye infection. He developed mono by the age of two. I just remember I thought my head hurt. My husband and I both started experiencing brain fog, the dizziness, memory loss, the ulcers, pain in our stomach. And that's when she began to experience the hypoglycemic episodes. And so I went gluten-free, I went sugar-free. Stacy kept having major panic attacks. And she's at home with the children and having trouble functioning. I would think I put my daughter in the car and then I would realize that I didn't. I thought I was losing my mind. My son had a seizure out of nowhere. Specialist didn't find anything. And then my husband had a seizure two days later. The doctor said, I, I think it was maybe some sort of seizure. And I said, well, that's funny. My son had a seizure two days ago. We knew something environmental was going on. We just didn't know what it was. We had a roof leak. Within a day, there was a green fuzz on our ceiling. So that's when we suspected this is mold causing our health symptoms. So I said, go stay with your mom for a week. If these symptoms clear up, we have a pretty good indication it's mold. The first week was really bad. It's almost like detoxing from the mold. But then week two, things started getting better. I went to the local hardware store and bought a suit, mask, gloves, and, and I went into the house and I found a small hole that was in the master bedroom and I stuck my phone camera in there and I was blown away. The mold was so thick and so black and so abundant. I did a tape lift of that area and I sent that to a lab and they sent it back and they said, yes, you have mold. You don't have one mold, you have four different kinds of mold. And each one of those molds puts off its own unique biotoxin. If this mold has done so much to my body and my wife's bodies, what has it done to my children's bodies? My biggest fear is that these symptoms are permanent. We do have a place to lay our heads, um, but we don't have a home anymore.